Okay, so welcome to episode 40, a uh, bit of a mini milestone um, of the Freedom Hustles podcast with me, John Banks and Andy Lehman from the freedomskillsacademy.com. So how are you doing, Andy? You all right? I'm not too bad. Um, lovely weather we're having. Um, what's it yes. like down your way? Very nice. Um, I haven't been able to do a lot because I had a bit of a nasty of course, uh, yeah. problem with my leg, which is completely... You know, we don't go into the details too much, but mm-hmm. it was half an hour before kickoff in the biggest football match probably of our lives. And and my leg just, I had the most insane pain. It was like a blowtorch. Um, so I've had that for about a couple of weeks now. Not that much pain. The pain's obviously gone right down. But yeah, a bit of an infection. Antibiotics cleared mm-hmm. it all up, hopefully. And we Indeed. lost the football anyway, so... I was going to say, in the last podcast, I said, well, hopefully we'll be talking about the uh, the lifetime achievement. Glorious win, victory. But, yeah. uh, not only did that not happen, but you didn't actually get to see the only no. thing <laughs> goal of the game, so... There we go. <laughs> well, How, we never know what's around the corner, do we? Anyway. We don't, no. So back on track. Um, so today, in this episode, we're going to be talking about email marketing again. Um, I know we've covered it a little bit before. But this time, it's going to be more specific. Um, we're talking about how much can you make from email marketing. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to kind of lead us in. <clears throat> well, it's a, it's a question that lots of people ask. Uh, it's a specific question. But again, you said we're going to talk specifically about it. But in some ways, we can't. Because the answer to the question is, is how long is a piece of string? Yeah. Because um, I'm just going to tell you now um, that... Annick Single, now he's a well-known internet marketer. He um, generated uh, $1,103,086 in a 12-day period by sending 18 emails. Mm. So that is a fact from Annick Single himself. Mm. Now, that was selling a product for, it was a $3,000 product, I believe, for um, Joe Vitale, who's from The Secret, and I think he got a 50% commission of that. But that just goes to show you what you can generate. Yeah. But then again, that also opens up the all these other questions and that, which is we've talked about many times, is the variables. We're talking about here is a guy who is, one, established. He's probably got a huge email list. Mm. Two, he is selling a high-end product. So even if you had a million people on your email list and you were just selling them a 199 uh, ebook. Mm-hmm. You're not going to earn the same amount as him trying to sell a three thousand dollar product. Yeah. So again, it all depends on who you are, what you've got, and what you're selling, I suppose. Mm. But apart from that, the actual amounts that you can make is, well, I suppose it's really sort of limited, isn't it? Yeah, completely. I completely agree. Um, and a lot of people, what it's it, like you say, you can't really put a specific figure on it. There, there is a rule of thumb, isn't there? One dollar per one per one subscriber per month. So if you've got a yeah. thousand subscribers, ten thousand subscribers, you kind of should be in the ballpark for around ten thousand dollars a month. Yeah. It, uh, from my experience, it's a bit up and down. It's not always the same. Um, no. And and again, that comes down to the individual. I mean, I don't push. I certainly don't email every day, um, but I know that. You know, you're you're in a bit more of a sort of camp, which, and you've seen it, and you you do it, which is a bit more, a bit mm-hmm. more like you know the, the sort of progressive, you know, email a bit bit more often. So again, it depends on what you do with your list. You know, if you're a once a week newsletter, or somebody that's emailing every day, you're probably going to get different results. Um, yeah, <clears throat> that's a good point. I mean, Alex Single with his now, he's got now. Um, a new website called Learn. He's yeah. emailing regularly every day. Not just him. There's other people. I mean, I, I get multiple emails from them. Uh, yeah. They're selling products, but then they're promoting webinars, which are part of a funnel to sell other stuff. But he himself said that I believe he gets two dollars every month from the people on his email list. Yeah, so that's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's two dollars. That's what he's saying. But some interesting surveys were done a couple of years ago. One was by HubSpot, and it found that for every dollar you spend on email marketing, which is either probably building your list or you know running your email costs, for every dollar you spend, you should get back around thirty-eight dollars. 
So, I mean, okay. that's a return on investment of, uh, was it, what, 3,800%? Yeah. So uh, and, yeah. and then there was another study which actually was better, which was the Data and Marketing Association of the United States. They did a study which found that for every dollar you spent, you would get at least $44. Mm. So basically, if you went for the $38 as your minimum, you know, for every dollar you spend on email marketing, you should get $38 back. Yeah. That, well, you don't get that if you stick it in a bank. No, and that's because they are, I guess, they're estimating the longevity of the subscriber. So this is not a people sign up to an email list because they've bought something or they've signed up to an email list and then they buy something and then that's it. This is someone that could stay on an email list for years, um, certainly months, Um maybe buy multiple products that you're that you're offering um they could even i mean you could even think of it as like let's say you run a website which is you don't sell anything you know but your your primary source of income could be from ads or something like that you know we're thinking from the sort of email marketing side such as generally you're going to be pitching stuff to people, not not just through the sake of pitching stuff to people. You're trying to help people out. You know, let's say you've got created a niche website around a specific topic. People are interested in that. They go to your website. They're going to sign up for your newsletter. They're going to, or they're going to, you know, sign up for the free PDF report or whatever. And then throughout the course of the next thirty days, you might pitch them a little product here and there, or you might suggest some products that aren't even yours. They could be an affiliate product. But it's generally with the, done with the best intentions to help those subscribers out. That's fine. The other the other type of um, newsletters or you know email marketing could be something that's completely different. You know, like you know, for example, like if you sign up to like um, I don't know, remember BuzzFeed? Although there, there used to be a massive website, didn't they? BuzzFeed, mm-hmm. and they would have subjects on virtually everything. Um, and, you know, you could put in your email address and just get a daily newsletter from them, Viral Nova. We've talked about that. They had a newsletter. And all that is is just pure entertainment. That's all it is, yeah. just pure entertainment. It will just be a list of the top 10 posts of the day or the top five posts of the week or if you, you want to get a bit more niche. I mean, I sign up to a newspaper in the UK and they give a, um, a weekly email on the top environmental posts so like there's climate posts and stuff like that and that's purely just entertainment or factual or you just want to learn some stuff they're not selling you anything but it's obviously helping them because a lot of these websites will make money from ads you know and so on and so forth so it can work two ways and it like you say that's why it's really really difficult to put an exact number on it it's almost impossible Two things quickly from that is, first of all, is the the news um, website thing that you subscribe to with the news. Mm. Is there any, like, future investmental products that they could be affiliated with? Because that could be something. Yes. Um, then there was also, which may, may, you reminded me, is that uh, in America there was a, a news website called Newsmax, and I did some research into that, and they had an email list of around 800,000 people. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember what the open rate was, probably something like 35% or something, whatever the open rate was. But you could send an email to their email list. They were hiring out, renting out their email list. So that's something else you can do with an email list. Oh, yeah. Um, and it was like three or $4,000 to send this one email to, <clears throat> I think effectively there was about 300,000 people would actually get to see your email, possibly open it to see your email. Um so it's crazy numbers, isn't it? They yeah. were sending out a daily email every day, and you would see because I signed up for it for a bit. Um, it was a bit of a sort of a pro Trumpy sort of website, so I didn't stay for long. Um, mm. <laughs> but they, uh, yeah, they were sending out emails every day. There was more. I counted one day, there was like five, and each email had a different sort of product sponsored uh, content yeah. inside it. Yeah. So we are looking at they were they were generating probably well over $10,000 per day oh, easy. from renting yeah. out their email list. Mm. Uh, and just recently, we've been looking at, um, there's an email company up in uh, Yorkshire somewhere where they were, uh, they built this, I don't 
don't know if they'd built the list or they were just managing it for somebody else, but it was obviously a huge list. The website was collecting names and details through sort of offers, like you said earlier, sort of an entertainment f- yeah. website, get offers or vouchers or stuff like that. Mm. And they had this huge email list and they were offering four emails to send four emails to this list. And again, that was like two grand. Yeah, exactly. So that's another way of doing it. Like you talked about then, like money, the monetization aspect. When you get mm. so big, you know, you'll actually, you can actually rent it out. Um, so I'm going to sort of go back a step further. If people are listening on this and wondering how they can do it, this is mm-hmm. not so, you can't just do this from like your Google account or, you know, like, you know, yeah. Yahoo, you, you know, your general email account. You do need some premium tools. Um, there's loads of email providers out there. Um, and what, you know, and, and, and they're all, they all fit for purpose, but so, and what they do is basically you, they allow you to collect emails, don't they? So you, you put yep. some on your website or you put something up on your, you know, your, your social media platform or whatever. Um, people then can opt in. That basically then sort of allows you to be able to send, that's their sort of consent, if you like, them sort of confirming that, you know, they've opted in and they've allowed you to, you know, have, your, have their email. That's their sort of consent for you then to be able to email them um, in future. You have to make it easy for them to unsubscribe. So I never understand people that why, why you make that hard. I don't get it. You know, just make that easy. People can aren't, people will chop and jump. If like me, I mean, I go in and out of lists all the time. So, you know, make it, make it easy. If they don't want to hang around, that's fine. Um, and then once you've kind of sort of captured them, it's obviously in your best interest to provide content that they want. You know, you, you don't want to start all of a sudden just bombarding them with, you know, offer after offer after offer that's either not relevant or, mm-hmm. you know, a, a bit too kind of spammy um, because then they're just going to leave. So, and, mm-hmm. I, and I actually think that we've talked about loads of side hustles and, and you know, over the years and, you know, we've dabbled in a few ourselves and, you know, I, I've written a, about several over on, the side income man blog, but I actually think that, I mean, you know more about this than I do, but I actually think that just an email newsletter, because I know you do one. So just an email newsletter is a brilliant side income stream for people. If, and, and that's, <laughs> that's literally it. So you just have an opt-in form. You send traffic to that. And you don't worry about doing blog posts. You don't worry about YouTube channels. You don't worry about anything else. Your main focus is just to write a good email newsletter, maybe every week, every two weeks, every third day, or however you want to do it. And then within that newsletter, there are loads of ways that you can monetize it, obviously, which we've talked about before. You know, affiliate products, you can sell your own products, and so on and so forth. So I think that, you know, the email newsletter, if you like, is is a really good sort of op, a really good you know option for people when it's certainly certainly not dead is it? No, definitely not. I mean, because uh, the principles the same. The technology may be changing. Technology is getting better. I mean, like um, we were discussing the other day, um, the way technology is changing. In the old days, you had a website on a mailing. You'd go rushing home, get to your computer, sign up to the email newsletter, stuff like. that. Nowadays, you can do it on your mobile phone. You can click through the link, go straight to it. Mm. Now we're getting to the point where um, opt-in uh, links are probably swap into a QR code. You can just basically zap a QR code and be on the website mm. within seconds. The technology may be changing, but the principle is still the same, and that is people want information. They like to read. We're not going to stop reading. I mean, audio books are going up. We like to listen, mm. but we still read. You know, we still teach reading and listening at school. So these mm. those principles are going to stay the same. And we like to buy stuff, and we we need to buy information. I mean, also t-shirts and books and whatever it is else other people are selling. Because email marketing isn't just information based. It's no. all about yeah. you know you go to. Um, whatever high street shop you go to for buying clothes from, mm-hmm. they'll have a, a newsletter. There's online stores selling shoes and, and dresses, you know, everything for five pounds. You probably get an email. I get an email regularly from the local Indian, um, yeah. basically telling me to, uh, to uh, stop looking in the fridge and come and buy a, a curry. Like it. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And it nearly works to be fair. It does. And also pizza hut, pizza hut. They always used to send out mm. pre COVID. I don't know what's much like now, but, 
they always used to send out like two for one offers. Yeah. Send their emails out because the cost of sending out an email mm. is pennies. I mean, years ago, you'd have to send it through the post with an envelope and a stamp. Mm. Now they can send mass send out emails by bulk. Uh, and if they do like a two for one, if they get like just an extra 10, 20% of people going and buying food, it's worth it. They're not, like, they've, they've not, yeah. they're not lost like 50% on one pe- on this pizza. Mm. They've actually earned more. Mm. by those people going in aren't they mm-hmm. yeah. they've increased sales yeah certainly we've talked about that before that's a massive point local businesses you know i challenge anyone that who, who, who says they don't need an email list i would challenge that i'd say just get one you know, like, i you know, personally yeah yeah classic. i think that's the yeah. the main focus i if to be if anybody asked me now if I could go back to when I was sort of 18 or when the internet just started sort of at early nineties, someone yeah, said yeah, to me, yeah. right, I'm going to give you one piece of advice, ignore everything else, build an email list. Mm. You know, and if I did, if I didn't listen to him, I, you know, I would, I would happily take a slap or two because yeah. I think it is that important. Mm. Build an email list, nurture it. Even if you don't make any sales now for the next six months, we'll just keep building it. It doesn't matter even if it costs you I've just yes. been writing something now comparing the price of um, somebody I know buys a drink from um, Starbucks. It costs them four pound. Mm-hmm. It's four pound. <clears throat> I think they have several a week. So over the course of a year, they probably spend somewhere between 416 to 800 pounds on this one drink from Starbucks. If they'd invested that into an email list, even if they didn't make any money now, but if they invested that into an email list mm. and was built in it and kept emailing it regularly every other couple of days, that within a year, I would swear that they would earn far more back than what they yeah. spent oh, on that. All day long. Uh, and, and and exactly. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about any business. So even <clears throat> you mentioned before, like some of the local businesses, one of the classic ones we get is from the pub, <laughs> which, you know, you don't need much enticing to go to the pub, but <laughs> if they if they send you an email and it's like, you know, buy one, get one free on, you know, meals or, you know, dads mm. eat. I always get one on Father's Day and it's like dads eat free or something like that. Um, and like you say, it'll just be a little voucher attached to the email. And then it's like, well, you know, brilliant. And, and it just increases their footfall. And it, even if, you know, people don't take up on the offer, they go <clears> down there. You know, so it's, yeah, mm. it's, it's a no-brainer. If a family does go down, if it's a family of four, mm. so where they're giving one meal away, they've not lost one meal, they've actually sold three more meals, and then they yeah. sell more drinks, aren't they? Of course they are. So that's, yeah. that's the principle of it. It's, uh, mm. But with email marketing itself, especially from a home-based business, if you're doing digital products, which I need to say this again, so we, we love digital products because they are so cost-effective. Mm. They are cheap you know you can set up an ebook on a web on a website people buy it gets delivered costs you nothing but you get an yeah. email list growing at the same time you can send them to digital products you earn money and then that's it you don't really need to do anything else you can close your laptop up once you've written your emails and done your yeah. maintenance for the day so going back then so like you said like we mentioned before so going back so you can you've just touched on it then but i think we should probably just elaborate a little bit so Obviously, you can't do this with Google, Yahoo, or any of the you know traditional stuff. You do need an email, you know, provider, uh, an autoresponder, an email marketing provider. There are loads of them out there. Um, and what you can do, like you just said, then you can actually just pre-write, can't you? Because you, you've actually made sales on stuff. I mean, I've done it before, where you've written stuff years ago, and it's in the funnel. And then you think, mm. well, how, how, I've just where'd that sale come from? And then you sort of dig it out, and you go, it was. It was email number 15 that I pre-wrote. So what? just go through the basics for people about what you can do in terms of automation with an email list. Okay. Um, there's a lot more to do than I actually do. I try and keep it simple. Mm. Um, you can... You know, you can create segregated lists of buyers, yeah, non-buyers, yeah, yeah. And potentials, and all that lot. But basically, I'm just managing a newsletter for a company. And uh, just the other week, I got an email saying, um, we've sold six of these products. We've not done any promotion. Where, do you know where they've come from? Mm. And it was an email that I wrote last summer. 
Yeah. Uh, and so I write an email every day, and every day I add it to this sequence. I'm basically up to like 169, 170 at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that's 170 days worth of automated emails, which now if somebody comes and joins that newsletter today, they'll get, they get 170. They get all every of them. day. Yeah. Every day I get a new email Amazing. in that 170. Yeah. So it's all followed, and each email is basically written. Now, I'm a big believer in writing information and stories. I don't just do, you know, buy this because it doesn't this. work. Yeah. I, yeah, you want to add information, you want to add story, you want to add facts, you want to make it interesting and fun. Mm -hmm. And then I generally have a, I kind of use, I kind of like to think of it as the Columbo method. You know, ever watched um, Columbo where, yeah. you know, he's doing his questions and then people, they, they think, oh, they got away with the perfect murder and then they relax and he's just about to walk away and then I'll say, oh, and just one more thing. That's and, it, yeah. Uh, then you know he throws you, in yeah, yeah link kind or of whatever. How I do yeah. my emails. Where I write you know with sort of information or story, and then at towards the end it'd be like, well, if you want to learn something like that, or yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we've got this available, and it kind of sort of just gently crowbars it in. And um, like I say the other day, these these emails are going out just constantly. So someone signs up today in 130 mm -hmm. odd days' time, they'll get this email. 145 days, they'll get this email. Yeah. And each Amazing. one points mm -hmm. to a product. Yeah, and that is a really good tip. For people that want to learn, people that want to get on this side of the fence, that want to learn perhaps how to do it, um, then go ahead, right? Go into Google, set up, or set up a different Google account if you want, and go and join a load of email lists. Go and opt into a load of email lists. And then you can filter on Google, and I know you can probably do it on all the emails, but you can basically filter per email address or keyword or something like that. So once you start getting a few emails coming in, make a few filters. So it basically just puts them into a separate folder and then just leave it. Okay. Then just don't open that account for like a month and then come back in a month and you'll basically see that whole business or that whole email newsletter chain of how they set it up, you know, from day one all the way to day 30. And that'll kind of give you an idea and if these guys are doing it well and they're making, you know, good money from it and they're successful, then you know what they're doing is working. So, and then you can yeah. get an idea then of how to kind of construct, because uh, it, it's not an area of expertise for me. I don't, I, I use mine almost as a sort of broadcast really, but yeah, yeah. Um, I've been on some really amazing ones, which, you know, really, really work really well. And like you say, you can just pre-write a load of this stuff and, like you say, it's all done. The great thing about this is there's several things I just want to add quickly, and that is, first of all, like you said, if you get onto a load of email lists and collect a load of emails, firstly, you can actually learn a lot from those emails. Hmm. Um, I mean, we, you know, you, you can pay to learn a lot about email marketing. We have a course which will teach you that as well. But if you start, stop and read emails, you can actually see how a lot of these marketers um, break down their emails and how they write them. Yeah. It's all very valuable stuff because, like you said, if it's working for them and it's and it looks uniform, and if today's email looks the same as yesterday's and tomorrow's is the same as today's, mm -hmm. then there's obviously they're obviously doing something because it works. So you yeah. can learn that for a start. Another thing I'd like to say is um, I use Aweber because I believe that there are some email autoresponders frown upon um, affiliate marketing and internet marketing. Even though you mm. could be selling decent products, but they still sort of sometimes see the the industry as a bit uh, a bit dodgy, mm -hmm. which is which is wrong because affiliate marketing has been around for years and everything's in affiliate marketing. TV mm. advert, you know, sponsored right. posts, everything's uh, affiliate marketing. Um, so you want to choose your autoresponder wisely. If you're selling your own designs, your own books, your own T-shirts, or anything like that, you know, sending people to Amazon, which is your own account, might be a different story. Mm. But, um, but yeah, so uh, well, you can use, as you mentioned there as well, broadcast. Broadcast is a great thing to do. If you've got an email list, um, while you're, someone may approach you and say, I've got this, um, this uh, product I want to sell, but I've only got it for seven days, then you can send a broadcast. Yeah. So you can do that as well as your automated um, sort yeah, of uh, sequence. Yeah. But the other thing as well to bear in mind is to remember is that, as you said at the beginning, like you say, for every person on your email list, you're expected to earn a dollar back. So if you've got a thousand, you mm -hmm. should get like a thousand a month. That's not saying that everyone on that list is going to give you a dollar. Basically, what that means is you've got, say, a thousand people, your open rate might just be 25 to 35%. 
and you might only get like 1% of the people buy the product. Mm. So again, it comes down to what you're actually, um, you're selling. So the, the, what you earn per month may, may be $1 per person, but it isn't actually $1 per person. Oh, no. So you want yeah. to get, you want mm. to build a list up. So if you've got like 20,000 people on your list, you only need 200 people to buy a $97 product mm. before you're sort of, you know, I suppose laughing really is the best way of putting it. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, it's like a that's like an average in it over the sort of the lifetime of the you know subscriber. Mm. But okay, well, I think we should probably think about wrapping it up. Um, lots of good tips, uh, a few takeaways in there. Hopefully, you gain something from that. Um, but essentially, so the original question was how much can you make by email marketing and. It really is, you know, how long is a piece of string? Um, yeah. So many factors involved. Um, what it is you're promoting, why you're doing it in the first place, what, how often you're going to send emails out. There's a whole load of reasons behind it, but we shouldn't, I don't think it's going away anytime soon. It always, it kind of threatens it all the time, doesn't it? Oh yeah, there's this, you know, new social media platform comes out, it's going to kill it all mm. off and it never does. It always still hangs around. Um, it's still for me one of the best forms because you know ultimately as we said before you own that traffic you own mm-hmm. that list um, social media channels although they're massive now you're playing by their rules and it's their playground and you know they can sort of chop and change things whenever they want um, obviously you know email lists are not you know it's not a completely unregulated you know playground you, you got you can't just if, if you just send affiliate link after affiliate link, and if some of them are dodgy or some of them are known to be a bit spammy and that, then, you know, uh-huh. you are at risk. Um, but I think as long as you play it sensibly, you should be fine. Well, you've got to remember, um, you know, I'm going to say Google plus there's probably people yeah. listening now thinking, Who? <laughs> and yeah. um, they disappeared. That was a social media platform to rival Facebook. It went, some people built their businesses on it and they lost them. Yeah. So be- before I disappear, before I sort of say goodbye, I'm just going to say that um, these are some facts, email facts from basically a couple of years ago. They're probably slightly different now, but there are over 4.6 billion email addresses being used today. 66% of people who purchased a product because of an email they received. Mm. So that's 66% of people admit to buying something through email. 72% of people prefer to receive communications from businesses via email. Yeah. Um, compared to sort of, I know a lot of people using um, Facebook Messenger and stuff like that, and it may be sort of getting the norm now, but that's very intrusive because that's basically mm. like a chat app mm. to your friends. Mm. You don't want marketing messages in that, but that may change. Um, people on average check their emails 12 times a day. Yeah. And exactly. Yeah. You don't, you no longer do you go to the desktop to sign into the inbox and, you know, no longer is it a once a week thing. You know, we've all, no. we've all got, we've all got these now, you know, everyone gets that notification up, bing, or, you know, go in and check your emails. You look at yep. your phone to see the time and you can see an envelope in the corner. So you scroll, you know, just pull it down and, look and go, oh, I've got an email from. Yeah. And uh, it's there right in front of you. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, very, very powerful stuff. So my only advice is, is that whatever business or industry you want to be in is you should focus on building an email list. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, that doesn't change. Um, all right. Well, okay. Um, yeah, so I've been John Banks. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Uh, this has been episode 40. Um, 40 yeah getting getting close to the the milestone but anyway Mm. um yeah so anyway i've been with andy lehman and uh, you can find us both over at the freedom skills academy.com i just thank you very much for listening and we shall speak to you again in next week's episode thanks very much (laughs) 